Hey everybody, Peter here with Forte Trader. Okay, in this video, I'm gonna try to make it very clear and short because I, I spent a little bit here and had to just screw my head back on my neck. Spent a couple, <laughs> went through a couple hour with some guys at CME to help figure this out. So, span margin calculator. Okay, we all have people out there offering us tools that are integrated to, integrated to their own websites or platforms or brokerages and such. But we can just go directly to the CME and it gets a little bit hard to do. So then we end up kind of giving up and most of us, it gets frustrating. So just want to go through um, the process. I got an email. Thanks to the guys over there, Aaron. Shout out Aaron and Matthew at CME Group um, in the SPAN department or whatever department they were in that I called and, you know, they assisted. Um and so here's the copy of some instructions they sent. And you want to get this down and stop the screen and kind of like make sure you get these. These are the core things you're going to need. Now, um, I'm going to try to fly through this so it's not too long, guys. I I know I tend to make videos long. Okay. So you're going to get, you're going to go first to get the Span Manager download. It's free. And the um, the use, the uh, registration is free as well. So we're going to go to the CME Group website. Okay. First, you're going to go to cmegroup.com. Um, when you go to cmegroup.com, okay, you're going to click, go, scroll down here real quick. I'm sorry, highlight services at the top, left click over here on the right bottom corner where it says calculate margin, click on the arrow. Then it's going to take you to this screen and right here, this blue button here, log in to CME core. You're going to click there. Bear with me guys. As you guys get through all of this, it'll be very easy. So then it's going to go to this, okay, core margin calculator. You're going to register. It's free. Once you're registered, you confirm all that stuff. You're going to log in. And once you log in, now I can close this window so it's not confusing me either. It's going to look like this. You're logged in. You're going to do a one-time download. You're going to come here to this download center. You're going to click that. Left click. And then here it says document and software. Left click software. And go here to the most recent where it says PC span free. Go to the most recent um, download that updated uh, software, which is going to be span risk manager, PC span. Left click that. It's download it. Once you get that downloaded, it's going to look like. Uh, it's going to look like this. Okay, this icon over here on your uh, shortcut or your desktop. Okay, so when you click on it and open it up and, and you unwrap everything, it's going to look like this. Oh, quick thing. Now, here uh, you already have your core. So step one, you already have your ID, your CME core ID done. You've logged in. Here's the link to that. You registered. And then uh, one moment here, log in, blah, 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 back in there. Open up that PC span. Now, every day, once you have this, this thing set up here, it's going to look like this. This is how it's going to come when you open it up, just like this. It's, a, it's the first time, guys, it's a pain in the butt. But once you get this down, you can update every day the daily um, end of day margins. And there's a link. And let me go add that link because I forgot to add that. Okay, check this out. You see this here? I added it, the FTP link. So what this is basically is it's built in onto your computer. And you're going to um, be able to calculate the daily span based on uh, the contracts you want to, which one you want to buy, which one you want to sell. I'm going to show you a couple quick tip and trick. So you have this open and it's a FTP system. So every day, if you want, or if you're trading, you know, maybe every once a week, whatever you're swing trading commodities or futures, and you just want to get the uh, exact margin, you're going to have this link. This link right here, automatically it's going to give you their, uh, this, it looks like this and they have, uh, you're going to come about midway to the page, come to the most current date. Now, if you come to the date early in the morning, you might not see all the stuff loaded because they load some stuff late in the morning around 11 central. So there should be some stuff rolling in now. Actually, let me refresh this screen. Um, <laughs> almost maybe not yet but all as long as you get the latest the what you want to look for is the s file cme.s the latest s file was it's printed usually in the afternoons the day before and you get this and you can get the zip file download the zip file or just download this document it's a little bit bigger so make sure you're deleting them at the end of every day when you use them you download them from your um, into your temporary download folder, correct? And what you do is you come here, 
and you're going to go load file. When you go load file, you're going to go to your downloads, and there it is. And uh, it's the dot S. Dot I's are for intraday margins. So you want to just mainly just download the, the ones that say dot I and dot S. Let me show you again. Dot I and dot S. Span margin, intraday. And then you download those, and then you're going to unpack them. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do it now, I'm gonna, but you would double left click, and it was just going to unload them into your over in here once that's done this is going to actually have a plus sign uh, when you first start it's not going to have the plus sign but leave that alone and then go uh so you've loaded it and then now this will be available create new portfolio this normally would not be available so click on create new portfolio now here's another link okay just because i'm saying this and i'm not wording it good um, this link here is going to be the quick tour right here. Click on this and follow the steps is basically what I'm saying. This link here is going to be the quick tour. Okay. And it's going to give you the instructions right here. It's going to take you to this and it's going to start telling you exactly what to do from that point. So I got you to where you, um, signed up for a CME membership for free. You registered and you downloaded the, uh, save that link in your favorites. You download the free PC scan. Now that's in your computer. That's one time. Now this is what you're going to do to up, uh, update those files. You're going to come and just follow the instructions that are in here. I'm going to do one real quickly. And then that's just, this is it right here. So you have the link for that. That's why I want to provide you guys with this screen. Make sure you get these links. And this is the daily the updates where you get the FTP files. So you're going to go. I know it looks confusing and crazy. That's why a lot of people don't want to mess with this stuff. So it took me a little bit to figure it out. So now when I go cancel again, this is not there. Let's imagine we just uploaded our file. We're going to go new portfolio and you're going to stick the, keep this at none here. You could put Forte, whatever. This is my camp Forte trader at account, uh, whatever new portfolio. It don't matter to me. Speculator. You leave it avail alone and a seg type. If you follow the instructions, it says what to do here. And you just leave all these alone. Unless you want to like start calculating real ledger balances, you can zero them out. Then you're just going to click on positions. And then on your positions, you should know, let's say, for example, I want a NYMEX contract and I want crude oil. Right? So I can scroll down. It's all in numerical and then alpha. Medical order to CL. Because CL is the ticker for crude oil. WTI. The West Texas crude oil. And it's crude oil right here. And then it's, it's going to go by the year and the months following. Okay. So 2020, 09, 2020. So let's say I want to buy a June, um, I'm sorry, a July contract, but I want to sell the August contract. I want to make sure I put that minus there. If I don't do that, it's going to give me the margin for both contracts, the day margins. I'm going to click OK. And it's going to create this little red thing over here. Okay. Once I do that, it clicks this red thing. It's done. It's loaded. Then I'm just going to go here and go sum. Calculate requirements. Bam. So it's telling me here that based on that portfolio that I just built of uh, one crude oil long and one short, uh, one long from July, one short from August, I need to have 1475 uh, span risk with the initial requirement of 1623 in my account. Okay. So on a small few grand account, you can actually control one crude oil spread instead of having to come up with um, the regular price to trade an outright. Okay. So what's cool about that is, is we trade, you know, these, these crude oil spreads quite often and quite oftenly too, for almost a daily income. All right. We could swing trade these things. And so, uh, this is really good because right now, you know, crude oil margins are about 10 grand a contract. So by doing it this way, we get to participate in, in, in the spread at an affordable cost. So, Let's say here I want to hit cancel and I want to modify this this one th that I did before I recorded this video. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to go on. Uh, I'm going to just double left click it. I'm going to open it up in the positions. What I'm going to do. Um, let's see for this one. How did I have this positions? Okay. I'm going to go back to crude oil. Let's go CL crude oil. 
And here you see I have one saved like that. Now what if I accidentally, I didn't put the minus sign. And now I have, it's going to assume that I'm going one long July and one long August. So when I hit OK, and then I go back to the sum to calculate so it clears up this red exclamation and turns it to green. That's it. And now, see, it's telling me I need 17,820, at least 16,200 because that's the, the margin for two contracts as of uh, close of yesterday. Okay, this is what I need to have in my account to trade two same directional contracts of crude oil. So I hope that that makes sense, um, guys and gals. It's it's you know it's a little bit of a pain in the butt when you first get it, but now that I figured it out, it's not that hard. This is just the software. It's going to be built into your computer. You get the data every day through the FTP access link uh, directly from CME. That's so you have that saved in your favorites, and then just open it up at the end of every day and just grab. Come to the center of the screen to the most uh, current date. See over here on my. On my computer at the bottom right, it's it's the 6th of May, 1107. But I don't have the um, span margin file updated yet. That will be in a couple hours. So I get grab the one from the day before. Okay, CME.S. That's how I know what it is. CME.I is intraday. So you want to have these two built into your system. Every day or whatever, however you trade, update it, download it, update it in here, and then just follow the instructions right here that I already got from one of the uh, kind gentlemen over at CME and have this kind of saved in a little file and that way you know how to like uh, run your own margins, span margins and get all your data for, for free with a little bit of work and then every day it becomes easier and easier. So you just do this until it becomes easy. This first initial setup took me like two, three hours going back and forth on an email and a phone call with the CME and, f and then messing up a couple of time and figuring it out. Um, it takes some patience. I can tell you that. That's where a little bit of my, it took me longer because my nerves got to me. So other than that though, uh, good luck with setting this up. You have everything you need here. You have all the links that you need. You know where to go register. You know where to download this, uh, this, this uh, span risk manager app and then how to upload the FTP files in here. And then just don't forget you know, to clean it up out of your download folders, okay? Um, it's, you don't want your computer getting a bunch of data that's crashing. Uh, I'm sorry, you don't want to overload your computer with data that's useless really to you, that's old. Always make sure you're going back and cleaning up any of your temporary folders where you downloaded the stuff the day before, and then always just keep the uh, updated stuff in here. There's ways, I think, to do this better later on where it can automatically track the new file, but this is the way to do it as of now. This is what the instructions say. Um, and then you'll have the quick tour link just to go one by one through whatever I told you. Um, same deal. It's, it's about that simple. Um, after you <laughs> after you go through it or somebody explains it to you like this and you do it once or twice, you're all set. And that way you have your span margin tool available for you at all times and you know what it's gonna take out of your account. Um, to put on X amount of spreads or contracts of, of whatever market it is you want in the futures. And also, there is an option for you uh, future options, guys and gals. You can also express your option in the drop down, the product type future. They also have options on futures. And you can pick your strike prices and everything. It's going to give you exactly the margin it's going to take to... Um, to purchase or sell a premium on your options for futures as well. All right. Hope you guys found this helpful, guys, and uh, happy and safe trading out there. I'm finally get to do some of my own trading on my own here. <laughs> I'm spending a lot of time on research. I hope it helps. Take care.